Hello Libra, welcome to another energy reading. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Let's get right into this reading. This reading is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right, let's go ahead. I'm starting off with the Gypsy Witch. Let's see. It's in the energy. What messages do we have for Libra? Thank you. We have the Rose. Misadventures. Also, we have the Ship. Which is a symbol of success or riches from inheritance or trade, stocks, something, something like that investments um you also have the sun which signifies um, happiness and popularity you also have children um and you have the bride okay there's a lot of fertile energy here um coming up you do have the rose so um there is a chance for the misfortunes to be averted the evil to be averted here so we'll see exactly what that is otherwise all the cards are lining up really really good Lots of riches, lots of success, happiness here. Children are in a good place. The bride symbolizes a single person reaching their highest fulfillment. So lots of achievements. All right, you have 222. Two, two. It's given that something wasn't supposed to work out, but something... Or uh, you got air sign. You got man's rejection is God's protection. Could be. All right, you have don't stop there. Keep on going. There's some type of rumors and gossip. Lots of rumors and gossip. Lots of talk. A lot of people are talking around you. Could be talking about you. Um, there are a lot of rumors. Some of you guys, you may have already heard these rumors. You probably already know where they're coming from, where they're stemming from. An air sign is very, very significant. This definitely could be you, okay? Um, you have, I want to commit to you. Ooh. I want to commit which to you. So if that's man's rejection, something doesn't work. What doesn't work out for you works out for you. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> there is some haters, rumors. All of that comes with the territory. And you could be picking up too much toxic energy from these very people. You're giving your ops too much energy, too much of your energy, and you're taking too much of their energy in return. All right. Um, yeah, let something go. It's, not, it's messing with your energy. There's a need for you to listen and take notes. Avoid all the drama. Somebody got a lot of drama around them. Avoid all the dra drama. Somebody could definitely be your soulmate <laughs> in the midst of all this, or you could definitely have a soulmate that's kind of stretching you to grow right now. Um, a couple of them. But there's a need for you to pull your, pull your energy back from a group of people. What else do we have? <clears throat> all right, you have Pathway. Someone is about to get into a relationship. All right, your yeah, community, and you have message, okay? You got marriage proposal. For some of you guys, you're getting the job. You have marriage and then occupation. So for some of you guys, you're committed to some type of job, committed to some type of um, work, okay? Um, some type of business. You can also be committed to a business relationship, uh, something like that. Let's go ahead and clarify. 
Libra. Clarify for Libra. All right, tell me more about the roads. Okay. Something takes a turn. Something something takes a turn um based on how you feel or how you're expressing some type of work or commitment. Um, for some of you guys, you may be exp you may express yourself in a relationship or express yourself to a person, and something takes a turn. Um, for some of you guys, this could definitely be a call or a visit. Somebody coming to you, and something takes a turn. Something just turns through someone expressing themselves. All right, you do have the. Um, Four of Wands here. So overall, this is some type of good energy. This is evil averted. I feel like that if a person was to hold in their feelings or hold in their emotions, things could have taken a toll or taken a turn for the worse. But the fact that someone or you was able to express their feelings about some type of commitment, about some type of loyalty, or just about the work you've been putting in, about your efforts or their efforts, I feel like you do get what it is that you want. <laughs> yeah someone is being extra vulnerable extra open for some of you guys you could have thought that you were extra open with a person and something takes a turn something took a turn um this was trying to get you to open open yourself up um to create different bonds and create things to happen in your life fast. Um, so this could be on a sense where a person could be feeling like, um, while things aren't going well in relationships, things could definitely be going well in career and vice versa. It was some things that you needed to learn in relationship that was going to help you with career. And that's why things could be, <clears throat> it's not a failure is what I'm saying. Tell me more about Two, 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 because this is definitely man's rejection. It's God's protection. Yeah, something is lined up really, really fast for you. You have the Knight of Swords, two, 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 magnetic, um, magnetic attraction. So I do feel like if you're leaving something, you're going right into a new thing, and this could be love or career. Okay, um, you do have the Queen of Coins and the Ten of Wands here. So, um. I feel like you're going to be getting repaid really, really, like, handsomely, like a handsome check um, for your hard work, for your labor, really, really fast. Something lines up for you really fast, okay? For some of you guys, this is something that you did a while ago. This is something that you did um, possibly in your childhood, um, or this is centered around, like, your childhood, your inner child. It could also be centered around uh, children. There is some there's some type of hidden money or hidden um there's something that you don't know about that is going to be very very prosperous that you've already put the work in or you've already invested in invested some type of time and you do have the ten of cups some type of hard work turns right into the ten of cups it turns right into wish uh, fulfillment here um ultimate fulfillment ultimate happiness um. There is some type of new endeavor that you do take because something is going to be really, really big or something is going to captivate a lot, a big chunk of your attention. Um, and then you are going to start missing something that you used to do. So I do feel like um, if you start feeling like lonely or you start feeling like looking back in the past, there's some type of craft or something that you do need to do. This could be in the form of you could feel like you're missing people, but really you miss the creative energy or you miss what you were creating. Tell me more about um, I want to commit to you. 
Okay, so there is a person from your past that um, really wants to commit to you. Um, there's a, a person from your past who has been a master at hiding. When the King of Cups and the Five of Swords come out, this is not just a person hiding their feelings. Someone is a master at hiding their feelings, hiding their emotions. They, they are a mastermind on how they play with their emotions. So they're able to make the public or make the collective think something totally off, so far off from the truth. So somebody has like been withholding their emotions. It's a lot of energy here. This changes the this changes the motion of things. For some of you guys, a person actually confessing their loves actually changes the course of your life. Something changes stuff like you have a lot of tens here. All right. You do have the four of swords. This person has been doing a lot of thinking about you. And because I feel like they have hid a huge part of themselves from you. Um, there is going to be truth in communication. Uh, this brings you a lot of success, a lot of like something changes your life. Like everything changes. Once this person um, admits how they feel, everything changes. Okay. All right. So there is this pathway that's being opened up to you. This is coming in as the three of um, wands. It's so funny how we leave off at with the ship and then we start here with the ship. So definitely um, for some of you guys, you're definitely getting on your ship. Your ship is definitely here. Um, there's something that you've been praying for in the dark. Um, keeping this away from a lot of people, not really talking about it, praying for it, and it comes in. There's a pathway that is created. Um, you have not been talking, but you have been doing a lot of research on, and you are creating this pathway for yourself. You can see the value in it, okay? You can also see the success. You can see the clarity in this. Something is a clear choice, um... For a lot of you guys, this is going to lead to a lot of success. This is almost like, look at how much major arcana. You have the seven of pentacles, the hierophant, the five of wands, the justice card, the hangman, the emperor, the death card. Like something leads to a lot. This is what you don't know about this um, new pathway that opens up, okay? I see What's in the middle? Yeah, you have the sun. All right. So spirit is enlightening you. For some of you guys, you can feel like that you've been you've been just in like a research type of mood where you just want to research everything. Um, you're looking a lot of things up. It's like you have your intuition has your full attention, and you are, are like researching, looking things up, trying things out, going new places. Like in this very curious, um, curious mode. But some of you guys, you're working really, really hard, dedicated. There's also going to be like some type of discipline that just reigns over you. You're just going to just be disciplined. Like the things that you felt like was hard for you to be disciplined with, it's going to come to you really, really easy and naturally. All right. Let's see. Tell me more about the ship for Libra. The symbols of riches and wealth by inheritance or trade. Look at that. Look at that. Someone's wish comes true. All right. Someone's cup is being filled with riches or wealth by inheritance, trade, or investment. Someone's cup is being um, fulfilled. For some of you guys, there's something that you have been like praying for. It's a lot of praying here. Like somebody has been doing so much praying um, and it's given like this prayer is answered really, really fast. 
But some of you guys, you were praying on some type of insight, on some type of uh, motivation, on some type of knowledge, on some type of something comes to you, like comes right to you. And it, it kind of it transforms your life. This is given like a lot of transformations with the Ten of Pentacles. Someone's cup is being filled with like wealth, money, riches, things like that. Um, for some of you guys, there's a transformation that you have taken to like honor your peace, put your peace first and keep on going with that. That is leading you right into the right direction. Everything around you could be happening very, very fast. Okay. Tell me more about just keep your heart open. Also, you've been looking for a lot of things, feeling real, real creative, like thinking of really, really amazing ideas and put your best foot forward. You don't understand how magnetic you are and how you're going to attract exactly what it is that you desire just by being so open and giving to the universe of your creations. The universe is going to gladly give back to you. What they say, the universe loves a cheerful giver. Tell me more about air sign. Okay, so there is an air sign. Um, you could be coming in contact with an air sign. Somebody wants to let go of the past um, really, really fast. Somebody is letting go of the past, or this could be you letting go of the past, um, doing something totally different. How they show up in their lives is going to be totally different or where they, they go is going to be totally different. This giving up the past um, or giving up something in the past or letting something go is going to put you, you do something totally different as a result of that. It brings you in a totally different environment. You may move as a result of that. You may also like... Um, leave a place as a result of that and this brings you justice yeah this brings you justice i feel like this is this is coming to you there's something that brings you wish fulfillment there's some type of drama that you had to go through that's going to bring you a lot of wish fulfillment all right there is something that leads you to and this could definitely be hard for some of you guys, this could definitely be hard. All right. There is a choice. You make your mind up about a choice. Yeah, you make your mind up about a choice. Or some of you guys could have made your mind up about a choice to leave something behind. And this brings you your justice here. This gives you like power, confidence. Um, you're able to create alchemy. For some of you guys, you boost into like popularity. All right, tell me more about haters and naysayers comes with the territory. Yes, the five of wands comes right up, the drama, the drama and stuff, okay? For some of you guys, the drama is basically rooted off value. For some of you guys, this these fights, um, this drama, this static, this is rooted in envy and jealousy. That's all that is. For a lot of you guys, these ver the very people who envy or are jealous of you, they see a lot of value within you. I just, I don't even feel like these people genu genuinely don't even like you. I just feel like that they don't like the, the, um, the value that is attached to you. Um, I feel like also there could be someone who could be threatened by you. Um, there's some type of energy that you possess. It's like, it's natural. It's natural. It's the Ace of Pentacles. It's just natural energy. It's just like you have it or you don't really. And I feel like there could be people around or there is, it's people that is causing this drama. There is some underlying drama, especially here in this second, um, the second row somebody could definitely be causing some drama and it is because they feel like that they don't have that type of value um there's a need for you to protect your boundaries protect yourself yeah protect your energy 
protect your energy. Don't tell these people anything. Um, you do have divine uh, masculine, the emperor at the bottom of the deck. All right. Um, protect your energy. Somebody is, is like, and also don't tell anybody your business. I feel like anyone that's even connected to don't tell anybody your business. All right. Tell me more about your picking up too much toxic energy from a group of people. Which are these groups of people, especially if you're trying to help someone? Um, for some of you guys, you're way too hands on, way too involved with a, a particular group of people that is just draining your energy way too involved, way too hands-on with something, all right? For some of you, this is because I feel like there is some type of guilt that you may feel. You have the three of swords and the eight of swords. For some of you guys, um, there could be some guilt or there could be some frustration that's making you either too involved in the situation, giving too much energy in the situation. Um, you could definitely be acting off of hurt. Um, definitely be self-sabotaging yourself, putting yourself in situations and environment that you know aren't good for you, that you know are draining you. For some of you guys, there is, there is like, it's not like you don't know that you're doing something. You know exactly what it is that you're doing. You do have the hermit here. And uh, for some of you guys, you could be moving off of hurt and or um, just self-sabotage. Okay. Yeah. You have a choice to make Libra, um, whether you're going to give it your energy or not, if it's important or not. For some of you guys, you're holding this thing. Yeah. For some of you guys, this is a choice that you make between you and the ship that is coming in. For some of you guys, this, this group of people is holding so much. It's high on your list. It's too high on your list. And this needs to be replaced with the work that you need to do in order to hop on the ship or the energy that you need to possess in order to get in this, this new level. Something happens um, out of the blue. Something does come to you, a new option, some new hope, some new healing, a, a level of new newness. Tell me more about community. Tell me more about community. All right, you have the chariot. So there is a community around you that could be leading you to some type of success. All right. Um, it looks like you left something behind. You are going to make the choice to leave something behind. For some of you guys, you already left something behind. You already made the choice up in your mind, in your body, your soul, your spirit. Um, and there is this newness that you find that leads you to this success, this love. For some of you guys, you're going to be experiencing love on another level because you were able to leave this toxicity behind. For some of you guys, this may be deeper work than I'm just saying here. For some of you guys, this is, this is in a lot of areas in your life. Um, and once you make the choice to leave that alone, I feel like you experience some type of new love. It's very, very nurturing for you. Um, even if you are a feminine, I've been getting this a lot, this download, that when we talk about this nurturing energy, we talk about feminine to masculine, but there is a lot of feminines out there who have not been nurtured. And there is a nurturing energy that uh, divine masculine does have. And divine masculine will have to tap into his divine feminine energy to find that. But I'm just like this nurturing feeling. There's a lot of divine feminines out there who feel like that they have not been nurtured, that they have not been given the compassion, um, really that they have not been mothered in a sense. Um, for some of you guys, you may find some type of relationship that kind of reminds you of a mother or reminds you of being coddled or protected. You know how um, children feel protected. Like we have this nickname called Mama Bear, like Mama don't play about the kids and stuff like that. That, that sense of protection, I just feel like that that's not for the masculines um, 
only, what you're about to be experiencing, what you're going into. Yeah, something is equal give and take. So somebody matches your nurturing um, qualities. You have the six of pentacles. And this is this is what's mind boggling about this. You are not going to in, going into any circle or tribe or this new community or this new group of friends, these new, this new environment that is higher than you. The six of pentacles is equal. So for some of you guys, you've been draining yourself out in these relationships because you have been giving, you have been showing up and doing your part. It's just that in return, you have not been getting equal in return. Therefore, for some of you guys, you could have still been more hands-on, giving more, giving more, giving more, um, but not receiving something in return. You don't go anywhere and get some type of perfect knight shining armor or perfect goddess from wherever. You just get somebody who's willing to be reciprocal with you. And that is so much. That is the chariot. That is the victory. That is success. So for some of you guys, this is like reassurance. If you feel like in a relationship that your person could be making you feel like that you're asking for too much, or this could be your family or your friends or your coworkers, or you're asking for too much just to be met with what you already give out, what you already have given out, just to be, just so you can receive the equal, um, that's nonsense. And if that's anybody making you feel like that, definitely there needs to be a boundary. Definitely needs to be a boundary. Spirit is telling you to be open to it. For some of you guys, this may feel like I don't deserve this because you're so used to the bare minimum. Um, Spirit is telling you to be open to it. And this love, this is the love that you give. So it's uh, there's some type of there's some type of love that's coming here. I got excited. <laughs> Might want to do a love reading. There's some love that's coming here that's very, very reciprocal that some of you guys could feel afraid. Um, something also makes you feel just, for some of you guys, you're going to just fall in this, like, fall, like, cradle up in this, like, you are the fool. You are just in this type of love. You feel so protected, okay? And then for some of you guys, depending on where you are on the scale and then how much you've been betrayed, hurt, and things like that. And then basically how much you, you are holding what's in your lid, what's in your jar, how much stuff you still have with you. It may be a little bit um, challenging for you to kind of release those guards. All right. Tell me more about the sun. Nine of wands here. Okay. So there's a person who's afraid of some type of success or popularity because, or they're afraid of putting something out there because they feel like that it's going to be hard. You have the empress here. Don't talk yourself out of having the baby. Okay. For some of you guys, the baby, the, you know, the baby is the creation. The baby is the sun, the light that's coming up out of you. It's, and it's like you can feel the light, um, but there is some like, well, I feel like it's going to be harder. You have the seven of cups. This could be someone telling you. This could be your mind um, telling you this. What's this? Oh, MG, you got the magician here. And with the scales, like this is a symbol. You see the scales here? All right. The Libra symbol on the magician card. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you're able to make something work. You are the magician. You have the magic. For some of you guys, stop, stop, just stop psyching yourself out with hard work and dedication. You will get to where you need to go and you will meet the necessary people that you need to meet in order to pull this dream down in order to, to bring, to birth your creations, to birth the light that's inside of you. You'll be met with all, all your needs will be met. Tell me more about don't stop.
got the Knight of Wands. Don't stop exploring. For some of you guys, you feel like that you could have possibly already um, self-sabotage yourself out of some type of um, grand opportunity, okay? Could be in career, could definitely also be in um, family. For some of you guys, you could also feel like that there could have been a relationship or something playing on this uh, opportunity, okay? This opportunity that you had. There was a grand opportunity, and you feel like you could have self-sabotaged yourself. That's why you're not stopping. That's why you're not going to stop. Because you feel like that there could have been an opportunity where you could have possibly made your ace of pentacles and you let yourself talk yourself out of it. So for some of you guys, you've already tasted. You've already tasted what it feels like to not put your creations out there to just talk, talk, talk about them, but not also protect them. For some of you guys, you've already then gotten robbed of brilliant ideas. Um, you've also been robbed by like procrastination and just sitting back and letting the day go by and by and by and by. So for some of you guys, this energy is something that you deal with. It's not going to allow you to stop. Your mind is going to be going to forever be shop you're going to continue to sharpen up your mind sharpen up your skills learn things that you need to learn go here go here go here go there because there's no for some of you guys you feel like you've learned there is no success in like quitting if i stop the sureness the way that i know that something is not going to happen if i stop or if i don't do it i know that it's not going to happen but if I do it, then it's endless possibilities. So for some of you guys, your faith faith muscle is getting really, really strong by these. And look, this puts you in that chariot energy. This is why you're so able to meet the chariot because you are so hands on with this. Um, you put in a lot of work. Um, you are eager to get out there and get your hands dirty. You are eager to get out there and learn the things you need to learn. Touch elbows with the people you need to touch elbows with. You will do the work. It's like the queen of pentacles has no problem being, being the student, being the child, the mother, all of the different types of relationships to learn, to plant, to make life, to create. And you've already learned some type of valuable lesson about self-sabotage where you could have missed a opportunity or maybe this whole reading is given man's rejection is god's protection because for some of you guys you're going to shoot right up like it's like you're shooting right up like a like a rocket after something that you felt like you could have self-sabotaged or something that could have been uh rejected to you all right tell me more about let it go it's messing with your energy let's see what we need to let go in order for you to hop into this energy, something you feel really, really strongly about. All right. Um, for some of you guys, this can have something to do with two different people. You have the King of Wands and the Queen of Cups here. Um, again, this can have something to do with you putting too much energy in other people. Um, for a lot of you guys, this has a lot to do with the King of Wands. This is action, the queen of cups. This is the intuition. This is like, put your intuition in action. This is you throwing your creations out into the universe. Something you are pent up of, of so much brilliant ideas, creative um, things, all of this. And it's messing with your energy. It could be throwing you off a lot. Um, so definitely put your intuition in action. For some of you guys, this can definitely be um two different people for some of you guys you can definitely be thinking about a um reconciliation or if two people are together um for some of you guys the 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 um yeah just throw the in in the fool take the big leap of faith jump spirit is telling you to to jump with something get to work this is something that you're going to love this is something that's going to also come 
natural that you're going to love working on. Um, definitely get to work. And I keep saying the three of wands, the ships is here. Your ships are here. Tell me more about message. Okay, two of cups. Somebody has a message for you. Okay, yes, you have the ten of pentacles. There could definitely be a message in the mail, um, money in the mail. This is, this is like a very, very um, <laughs> money, material type of reading. Very, very valuable reading. Six of pentacles with the four of pentacles somebody has something to give you there's a gift and this could be a lot for some of you guys there could be a check in the mail like i said somebody could be getting a handsome check a very very handsome check um crossing this yeah wow justice yeah somebody is getting a very very handsome check in the mail okay there could have been something that was hidden from you or something that you don't know about. Um, something happening behind the scenes. Um, but now someone's getting repaid, very repaid handsomely. Okay, so that is your reading. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.